do 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 Whatever the fuck. We have no name. Whatever the fuck this is. Two. Welcome to the first episode. My name's Axel. My name's... Jeff. No, it's not! <laughs> That's Tony. Antonio. Mucho gusto. He's, he's not happy to see you. Anyways. Anyways, we, uh, we're here with our second question, as you hopefully saw our first stupid one about dessert. Yes. Thank you, Stephen. Ate a big piece of cake. Anyway. After you. Well, I did the last one. I thought you, you were going to do it for me. Fine, no, I'll do no. it. That God damn. Okay. I got to do everything. Yes. All right, here we go. So, we sent out another request and didn't get many replies. So, the first reply to our question of what we should talk about today was boobies. Boobies. Not not too subtle. Boobies. We all have them. Guys included. I got some, I got some man boobs. He's got some ah. belts. Oh, yeah. Oh, it. It's personal. Anyways. <clears throat> Boobies. We no. all like them. Yes. I mean, even, even women, because, you know, lesbians. Lesbians? I'm just saying. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. They all like them. Everyone likes boobs. Now, I've heard boobs come with problems. I got three sisters. They say that. But for men, boobs basically have no downside. Unless you're a man and have them. Yes. They get really sweaty and leave marks. But I don't know that. Now... I think Tony and I have decided before this cast and you know, also during this cast, that we want to talk about what we like about boobs. What do you like about boobs? I mean, I like a lot about boobs. You like a lot about boobs. I like a lot about boobs. I like to hold boobs. Yeah, yes. Stress reliever, I hear. So I'd, I hear. You know, if you grab some. You know, playing with that, I'm sure, would be the same, you know. Yeah. Nice I mean, stress relief. You know. Yeah. What about you, Tony? Free toy. Free, free toy. toy. Free, free toy. toy. Yeah. Like Basically a free stress ball. Free no, I'm just you can't you can't push that hard. I'm just. <laughs> it's just it, depends, it depends on the size. It depends, depends on, on the, the woman, size. I think, and if she lets you. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I've I've been in some relationships where pain was the normal. Yes. Oh God. Um, leaning back forward. Right. Because uh, of Tony leaning back. Oh, I just chill, bro. I just chill. So boobs, yes. I mean, um, well, what, what else? What else can start? we say about boobs? Keep your boobs healthy, ladies. Save the tatas. Save the tatas. You know, if you didn't know, uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Day is and month is October. Yeah, so you know, pay attention. Yes. Everybody, do the walk. Uh, also, pay special attention to children's cancer while we're on that. I'm a big advocate. Yes. Because they don't get as much money as you think they get. Mm -hmm. Anyway, boobs. I mean, it's boobs. Just uh, boobs can also mean idiots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two boobs. <laughs> two boobs. Small right one. here. A big boob. Big one is small. I mean, often boobs are not the same size. No. Is it the <laughs> left side is bigger or smaller? I don't. I, I, is it like guys? Like how the their nuts don't go as far down on one side? No clue, man. <laughs> is, that, is it like no. correlated, maybe? <laughs> These nuts does not go with the top. These, all right, we caught Esteban's topic, too. These nuts. These nuts, Esteban. There you go. that's it for that not conversation. That we're, not, we're not saying anything else about nuts. Except Hopefully, squirrels, nuts, maybe. Yeah. Depends or on maybe how big nuts like I go crazy because I am nuts. Depends how big your nuts are too. Well, depends. I thought we weren't talking about nuts anymore. God damn it. Ah, uh, true. Okay. Um, and yeah, you know the all right. Relating it to the one before this, you can put nuts on your dessert, Stephanie. So, ah, you made that so weird. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, uh boobies. Boobies. Man. They, you know my favorite thing about boobies is bad. they're on women. They are on women. They are on girls. Most girls, that means, like I said, sometimes, you know, mastectomy or... But even, you know, small boobs, big boobs, medium boobs. Right. You know, pert Catch boobs. Attention, yeah. Not so pert boobs. Traffic stoppers. <laughs> Some traffic stoppers. Ankle biters. <laughs> I don't know. Ankle. Um, I don't know. I'm just fighting. <laughs> I mean, it's no, interesting just... how they, you know, they become so big in our world to where nowadays... They're used as um, a sexual kind of uh, yeah. Sexual. I mean, I'd say there's a very sexual component to breasts, at least for the media stream as like not necessarily actually, but like we've sexualized breasts a lot to the point that women can't breastfeed in public. Do you at think least a lot of places now? Do you think that as often in nowadays, 
social media, uh, just women taking pictures in general, that they tend to uh, shoulder boobs more in order to get more attention? Or do you think that some of it is just natural boobs sticking out? That's a tough question to make, Tony. I'm... How can you tell? I, I, here's the thing. Why does it really matter either way? Like, here's oh, my no. thing. Everyone's everyone's sexualized and everything. That's you know what you put online is how it looks whether or not it should look away or you're trying to look at this way or not you know that's what it looks like to someone else and you know that's perspective like you know whether or not they're trying to show that is how some people feel that some people feel like there's an excess more of pe girls trying to show off their bodies online true but I you know true i feel like though it's like hey here's a picture of my upper body but let me just put these in your face Whereas well, it could be here's the thing: is isn't that? And don't get me like, don't you know, shoot me down as me believing that this is the way it is. But isn't that what's pop, what's the mainstream media says is how it's supposed to be? Like, think about all the videos and episodes of anything you watch, and tell me where the conservatively dressed women are. They're not the main characters. True. The main characters often wear short skirts, often wear revealing tops, often. You now, sometimes not true, and you know, there's obviously exceptions to every rule. Or in every, you know, maybe that's not a rolling. Maybe that's my, but that's how I've seen it a lot. Is in a lot of shows I watch, and even ones with female leads, strong female leads, or, you know, they're often sexualized in their appearance. Whereas, you know, n and now the other question is, are men the same way? And now let me put this to a different thing of instead of sexualizing the standard, because uh, men don't, aren't necessarily having to be sexual. On film, True. as women are often because we're not sexy. Men are not sexy. Men just don't look sexy. Don't, we, Even hot men are like rugged and tough. They are. They're not sexy. They're like men. They're men. They're men. I'm just saying, like, the, I don't know who said it. Women look like works of art. They're smooth and rounded and beautiful. Men rough and rigid and depending on the kind of guy you are. Yeah, you could be like me or Tony and be doughy or skeleton -y. He looks like a hippie. I do look like a hippie. And I look like a Mexican who doesn't know what he wants to be. Bah. Gangsta. Anyway, uh, th for that I'd say, you know, men have to be that way. They don't have to be sexual, but they're often, if you're not a big, tall, strong, buff man who is well endowed, you know, people can say that doesn't matter as much as you want. I've seen the jokes. <laughs> right. I see the memes and the You're jokes. Right. You, I, that's 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 also sub pervasive culture. You know, people like for men. You know, on the other side, that if a man doesn't have a large member, he's not a man. See? Supposedly, you know that. You need of, one of these. You need one of these. One of these. <laughs> no, we're just. <laughs> and now, you know what? It's funny that bringing that Looking up because me. nowadays I was actually. I just remembered about the story uh, I heard from a bartender. I forgot his name. Sorry, bartender. Uh, he said he had a girlfriend who was anorexic but had double Ds. And she was crazy and wild. And he had to break up with her mm -hmm. after a certain point of time. But in reality, the moral of the story was he stayed with that anorexic crazy bitch because of her double Ds. That seems like a bad decision to me, but you know, I would I was not faced with those double Ds. I may I may have made different answers. I mean, once you have them in your face, you might. When you have to weigh the realize. options in your hands, no, I'm just. But I don't know. I I see. I feel like that's a lot of society. A lot of people are so caught up on, not even maybe just the physical, but but their preconception of what they want and what they need and what they're kind of looking for. And they're not open to like see the world as it is around them and experience the chances True. that you're gonna. So you go out and you're like, I wanna, th you know. And there's different people. Not everyone's looking for the same thing, but everyone's looking for something, dude. Right. Even the people who say I'm not superficial. Well, you're not superficial physically. What about intellectually? True. True. If they're not a smart person and you, and that's one of your criteria, are you gonna date them? True. True. Some people not important. And some people is important. The other thing is, can you fault someone for what they want? I mean, yeah, the social media and the... Well, not social media. Mass media, not just social media. This has been going on for you know, forever. Media control. But that, the that they, they want women to look a certain way, but 
truth is women don't look a certain way, and I don't really even like the way they want women to look now. They want women yeah. to basically look like twigs, six and a half foot twigs with large breasts and an ass. It makes them look like they're going to snap in half in the slightest breeze. And I'm just like, over here, like, uh, can I even hold that woman? Or is she going to break when I touch her? Like, mm-hmm. like I can think of several. Like, there was just someone Maybe that Maybe that was a manic. No, no. <laughs> you you got to see some of these actresses. I can't remember any Goals. specifically, but I, I have Hitting people. on the mannequins at a mall. I told you stop doing that. Man, I can hit on a mannequin. <laughs> I've tried. But they don't respond. They don't respond well. No. They don't have faces sometimes. No. Facial expression. But you can't say no without a face. Facial expression. Oh, 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 no, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's it called? So let me ask you something. I should go in the closet for that. Let me go. Let me ask you something, <laughs> though. Now that we're on this topic. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Forgot my question. Good job. Come back to me, teacher. Come back to me. Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, as for right now, you know, we've been been talking about like a lot of women and physical kind of things and I think one of the results that have come about of this physical like you know you not only do you have to have you know be beautiful and in shape and figuratively as a woman but now you have to have a big butt too the hourglass which was yeah the hourglass figure which before a lot of uh, not all and this is probably you know very uh caging people in a very you know, you know, one-sided, like, look, right. it might not be the way it is, but in the end in of the day, white girls didn't have no booty. No, I mean, it goes back to, you think nowadays, you know, as the generations, you know, evolve, or if that's the right word, you know, nowadays, there's so much diversity going around that, you know, it's just bringing all those genes into, you know, making more of a beautiful person. Hmm. You know, such an attractive girl to where, as you go down, you know history and look at the pictures of women uh, you can tell how they used to dress to how they dress now and how their bodies have evolved in that way you you know it's yeah well in the old days it used to be the to hide your figure so obviously you wouldn't want a very full figure so that you could hide it more easily mm-hmm. nowadays where it's more important to have a big figure it's more important to work speaking about big big uh, I like big girls I do like big girls thick curvy girls those are beautiful Girls are beautiful. All girls are beautiful. Yeah. Everybody's beautiful. Now, when I say big, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, like, big. But, hey, big girls need love, too. I'm, I'm just saying, saying thick girls that have curves are sexy. Not just skinny girls. Like I said, I think every, like I said, sexy is just this classification of what we've, to come. Because as I've, like, you grow up, you hear about these things, and even people experience them, like, uh, the, some people call them fetishes, fetish is, you know what I mean, or this or that, but if someone, you know, there's one that's especially interesting, and I read about it in a manga called Genshiken, which is super funny, it's about nerds in Japan, basically, uh, and the, the whole thing was that this one very cute, like, she was the cutest girl, that hourglass figure, uh, very shy and very, for, you know, someone who, in that genre, would be very desirable, had a fetish for middle-aged balding fat men. What the fuck? See, and you say that, but everyone's, you know, not to say that, you know, physical attraction isn't built in because obviously we all have some kind of physical drive to, you know, main reproduce as people, but seriously, the there's people out there with fetishes that don't want, you know, what is mainstream acceptable or uh, desirable. I like Tony's just over here drawing figures. It's for those who like visual effects. Different style of hourglasses. Which one do you think is the best for you? Now, see, as you were saying that, I just thought it was funny how you said, uh, I think it's interesting when you say what we think about what sexy is. In reality, you know, it comes back to, do you think the girl is sexy or you think her body is sexy you know there you what go I'm what's saying? sexy that's the other what thing that's why I say anyone sexy. can be beautiful because what you find beautiful is not always with your eyes and you know that people are always relying on your eyes well your eyes are probably your your third most used sense right not even the most where you get the most you get far more information from your ears and uh, your nose than you'll ever get from your True. eyes and I mean it goes back to 
you know, the, depending on the kind of person you are, you know, you can have a great body and a bad soul. Yep. You know, I met some really messed up people that I thought were beautiful. And I've seen some people who, you know, despite whatever I may have thought about their physical appearance, you know, I knew inside their soul was beautiful. Exactly. You know what I mean? And that goes for a lot of people. I remember specifically when I was... These <laughs> Happy face. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm just saying, uh, it's just a big topic that came to mind. You know, I have many friends. I have a homegirl. Yeah. Uh, I want to yeah. say her name, but you know, we don't. We don't try to do don't name try. shouts. We Very few yeah. people will say. If you're okay with it, you let me know. But uh, you know, I know a girl. You know, she has a little extra on her bones, but she works it. You know, and I, I find that very attractive about her. It's a very attractive feature because she's comfortable with herself. She may not show it. You know, she may not feel it, but when I see her, she's working it, and that's big. That's you know, that actually, that reminds me of someone, and she's not very necessarily a huge person, close to a friend or anything like that, uh, but we had gotten, we'd be, we got very close over time working together at uh, uh, doing this project for my honors dissertation, blah, 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 but, but um, there, the entire time I was speaking, like, I had known her for four years, and this, and this, and this, and that. But it never once in my mind did I not perceive her as beautiful. And often I was actually taken aback on my own, like when I might I've lapsed back into that kind of physical assessment of people. Because you assess people in your mind, and that's true. Sometimes conscious, sometimes unconscious. But you, right. you need to be aware that every basically everyone you meet, you're assessing somehow based on your past experience. And I never it never registered with me unless I was like taking the time out to think. But I was often be shocked. I was like. I never realized she was that heavy. Right. You know what I mean? It never registered in my mind that she was heavy because she was a beautiful person. She moved with grace, spoke with grace, right. acted with grace, and very intelligent. Yeah. You know, a uh, young lady right now uh, researching in England to be an anthropologist. Like I said, very intelligent. Like I, said, I have nothing but respect for uh, their work and opinions. And we respect women. <laughs> Sometimes. I got I, all I gotta say is if you're a guy and you don't respect women, good luck getting on without them. You love them, can't live with them, can't live without them. Besides, I have a much harder time dealing with guys sometimes. They uh, they're often assholes. There's yes. you're an asshole. What I will say about guys where they're straightforward. Whack. <laughs> Just <laughs> I like him. He's funny. This is my friend. Whack. <laughs> guys, we're not backstabbers. We are front stabbers. Where's that knife? I know I put a knife in Shut up. Stuff. Shut up. Get out of the couch. <laughs> Get out of the couch. That's not till next episode. Oh, yeah. Uh, so tune in next time no. to see what's in this couch. It's going to be his body. I think I found the body. Ah, <laughs> anyway. But, the, you know, the, uh, you know. You the, know. This is what I'm saying. You know, this physical thing stuff. we've come through, and there's all types of different people in every aspect. And, you know, everyone's, I want a movie star. I want five, ten, and I want this. Well, guess what? Every benefit in that, everyone has benefits and flaws. Ain't nobody perfect. Yeah, let me tell you something. You know what I think it is, too, nowadays in this uh, generation, in this world we're living in, to where sexy isn't technically what people believe it is. It, as, a, as you were saying, it's what we believe it is mm -hmm. nowadays. You know, like someone you, can look, like you said, a man could look rugged and the girl could think he's sexy, but he himself believes he's not sexy. And this uh, this reminds me of uh, a post I'd seen on pansexuals where it, where it says because pansexuals are a very interesting group that I don't know enough about so I don't want to speak too thoroughly no. about uh, pansexual no, no, no. hardships but from a lot of what I've determined is pansexuals are often in love with uh, can be in love with both genders genderless mm. non gender and items uh, oh. objects or something of the said maybe the energy I don't know mm. and this is what I've heard so if I'm wrong please feel free to correct me and. You know, to direct me to some information where I, you know, bitch smack me with knowledge. I'll do it for you in person. He will. That's how I got this. <laughs> All right. That's why I have a beard. Hands me, officers. <laughs> but you know, then if you know, <laughs> love him. I, you know, maybe I love this pen. Maybe I find this pen sexy. It's so sleek and efficient. There's a hole. Because Penetrate. I mean, I'm penetration, Penetrate. man. And yes, I mean, if it's, it's penetratable. Only, yeah, penetratable. You know, who says love is all physical or sexiness is even all physical? Like I said, that you have people who never have sex and just have women hit them with stuff. True. True. Love it. Yep. Ah, again. Uh, again. 
I not again. <laughs> almost loved that. I almost no. He loved it. So, <laughs> um, let me tell you this though. Now, where do you think that comes to though? Like, where do you think this whole knowing what, uh, how to love oneself, knowing what love is exactly, comes to play in this role of sexiness? Like, oh, sure. how do you how do you know if you you know you're perfect for you know? How do you know, how, is anything, you know, that's always my question. People are always looking for their soulmate and for yeah. perfect, I I say perfects whoever you make it at work out with. True. Well, you know, not, and then I'm not saying to like you should work it out with anybody exactly. and like make it work, but I'm saying if it works out, then isn't it meant to be? And if it doesn't work out, then isn't it not? Tech, you know, it didn't happen, so yeah. it wasn't meant to be. Where's the line, you know? Where's the line? I think Where's the line between knowing to fight for it and knowing... We talked about this the other Let day go, in our on. post. Did you this was our yeah. Wasn't this our topic about? Uh, oh yes, it was. Remember, we had your friend over. It's hard for me, man. I've been stuck in that place. I think we both have it, and actually, we've had similar. We won't go too into details in our past too, because we're very emotional. We're emotional. It's okay, buddy. I love you, I'll kill you. Yeah. Anyway, basically, you know, we've both been in the situation where we we didn't know. And I'd say even on both ends, where we didn't know whether that person was good for us, or or vice versa, if we were good for another person. True. You know, maybe not good enough, but even good. You know, I I know for a fact I've been a bad influence on people. You know, back when I was smoking cigarettes, I got a bunch of people to smoke smoking. I still, as <laughs> said, was gonna kill me still for that. smoking. Still blames me for that. You got me started smoking, fucker. Pasta to the left. Pasta to the left. Anyway, you know. It's hard. It's I don't think there is like a a spot where you can definitively say for everybody this is where you should cut off and you know yeah. take off. You know my thing about it is you know c communication in a relationship is key. Like I said in when we were talking, I don't. If there is no communication, do you even have a relationship anymore? If someone doesn't talk to you, then. Is that a relation? You're not even talking to them. There's no connection. How is that any relation? You know, let alone a close relation like a family or a friend, but not just an acquaintance. You know what I mean? And even where is that? Like, so that's where I say it has. Like, once you can no longer communicate and you, you know, or, you know, I think that's it. Like, that's when it's done because obviously you're not going to be talking anymore. True. It, you know, and it, I guess it depends on the person, you know, like, Maybe the person doesn't like to talk about it. Maybe the person likes to keep to themselves. Well, and even then, say something. Like, if you don't want to talk to me, tell me you don't want to talk to me right now. Something. Like, if you don't say anything, how am I supposed to know what's going on? Exactly. Like, that's, I, that's why I hate the freaking new Facebook thing. I want to put another meme. They, they, or the, I've seen it where it's just like, thanks, Facebook. Now I know people are ignoring my messages. Yeah, exactly. To where you're like, well, I thought maybe knowing that I'm on they'll want to talk to me but hey actually they're just gonna be like I know you're on I'm just gonna hop off or ignore what you say or not look at it but I've been guilty of it don't get me wrong I've if hit one and I've looked and not looked you know what I mean how you can just mm -hmm. kind of look and preview your message you, you want to, so yeah. you don't so you don't have to actually and just get rid of your notification we've all done it don't look at me and lie motherfuckers I know I know stalkers <laughs> I have a dream that someday that someday you will respond you will respond <laughs> to me uh, and, and it's just one of those things that you know what I mean my other thing is like I've had it hard because I'm often or you know when I do certain this and it's like you know am I doing all the talking here and am I talking too much that's always what might come down to am I, did I, am I bugging them now like you know you felt like that too like am I bugging them now Yep. And the part about communication that's hard is you can't, it's a two-way street. You need to have someone talking and someone listening at the same time. Not just two people talking, not just two people listening. I don't even listen. I don't even know what the fuck he just said. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking swaler. Looks like <laughs> I didn't come out to look like what I wanted it to look but like. I don't think it did. You probably should. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, I think I know how we can help that. It looks stupid, but now it does not look like the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> just we have to draw. We have to draw. We have the. We have. We have the artistic. We're low ability. on Buffett. 
buffets. <laughs> I mean, We're low on buffet budget. <laughs> budget. You know what? Get in the goddamn. But I want some buffets. Yes. Um, see, he's trying. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what the hell is that. Let me see a key. He's drawing a key. It's a key. It's a key. You dirty-minded perverts! You perverts! We had to be careful not to get blurred. Yeah, I don't know, man. It looks like a key. Talking, talking. That talking one is a difficult one too. That's a very serious conversation. Yeah. Why you gotta ask serious questions like that? Uh, Can you ask me stupid questions? How many times have you put your face between boobies? <laughs> I gotta think. I'm not like a ladies' man, so my encounters have to be remembered. Through and far in between. It's not like I have too many to remember. Well, you did it without tripping. All right, that's even harder. If you're not <laughs> counting one night stands, I'm in trouble. Oh. Uh. Well, uh, ten. Do, right? ten. Ten times. Ten times. Well, I'm not Five very good. Five times. At, I'm not good at maintaining he's, he's a count, serious relationship. He's counting it twice because. Two boobies. Two boobies. <laughs> 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 we. Are, I'm not. I'm not a ladies' man. We are bad at math. I am. What's math? Math. Yeah, yeah, meth. What's meth is good. No, not <laughs> <laughs> meth is good. Have you been taking meth? God, uh, Tony, you're so off topic. Is this on the internet? Yes. Uh, then no, no officer. <laughs> no officer. No officer. Um, not an officer. I no, was... I'm just saying. I just wanted to ask because we were talking about boobies. And in, uh, in going back to the whole boobies situation, <laughs> I, I love boobies. Uh, you I'd, didn't have that much I'd to say love, earlier. I'd love to put my face between them. So anybody who has boobies that you want a face in between females, most females, yeah, no, mo no guys. No, he said he was gonna say like mostly, and he should not. Mostly, no, yeah, mostly. I'm he should have said exclusively. Exclusively, females. You know, go uh, in the closet, Tony. Go. Hit me up. Go in the closet. No, you fucked up. It's my turn to go into the closet. We are now doing the thing where if we make bad jokes, we go to the closet. So uh... <sighs> get in the closet. Tony's gonna be in the closet for a minute. It's so dark. There's other stuff in the closet too. It's so dark. When are you gonna come out of the closet, Tony? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, people. So anyway, now that Tony's not here, let's talk shit about him. Um, he's skinny. He's really skinny. Um, I swear I can do better. He no, you can't. I can make better jokes. Do you promise? Let me get out of there. Do you promise? It smells bad. <laughs> do you promise? Yes. Okay, get out of there. And Tony's coming out the closet. I told you. Was it hot in there? I like women. He came out of the closet. And um, I know that's that's a cheap a, joke, but we, we used it. It's a scary closet. You haven't seen in there. There's a magic demon. All right. Well. So, boobies. Uh, we talk about boobies and girls and bringing the booty back. We've talked about, we, we, you know, we relationships, and we've talked about silliness. Now um, let me ask you something. Okay. Viewers. Viewers. Viewer, maybe. One. Nobody, um, maybe. Maybe nobody. Probably nobody. Nobody. Sorry, nobody. We're so bad. <laughs> what do you think about this topic? Anyway. Um, do you have anything you want to add? Any information you like, you know, sort but, you know, we're, we're open for you know. philosophies and science and... Whatever the hell you want to say. So you can even call us bad names as long as you comment. <laughs> but please be positive. If you're gonna be negative, insult him. <laughs> that. So now I have to pixelate. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Is, uh, I think it's time for a wrap. All right, that's a that's a nice little session. I think that's a natural good. ending. It was good, and uh, we're gonna now we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna see end what else this. we're gonna do. We're gonna end this. We're gonna end this. With a, a rap. Oh, 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 wait, I'm the rapper. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. how we're gonna end it. <laughs>